Google Classroom is a free online service that lets teachers and students easily share files with each other. Teachers can post assignments, quizzes, and more, and then grade them, all without having to print anything. It also makes it easy for teachers and students to communicate. You can post announcements on the class homepage, or email your students directly. You can even message their parent or guardian. To access Google Classroom, visit classroom.google.com while logged into your Google account. The first thing you'll need to do is create a class. Just click the plus icon in the top right corner, then choose Create Class. A dialog box will appear asking how you plan to use Google Classroom. Google Classroom requires schools to use G Suite for education if their teachers intend to use it with their actual students. This provides teachers and students with more security and privacy. If you teach at a school and you're seeing this message, check with your school or district to make sure they're signed up. Otherwise, if your plans are for personal use only, you won't need to worry about this. Next, you'll need to enter the name of your class. There's also the option to enter a section, a subject, and a room number if you're using Google Classroom in a school. When you're done, click the Create button. Once you've created a class, you'll be taken to it automatically. You might want to spend some time getting to know the interface. Let's start with the class stream, which is kind of like your class's homepage. On the stream, you can post your own announcements for your class to see. You can also allow your students to post and comment on the stream. Under Upcoming, you'll find any work that's due soon and also reminders for things like tests and trips. At the top of the page, you'll see the menu command, where you can access other classes, your calendar, to-do lists, and more. To the right, you'll find tabs for your stream, classwork, people, and grades. On the Classwork tab, you can create, assign, and organize all of the work for your class. On the People tab, you can view and communicate with the students and teachers in your class. The Grades tab lets you manage everything to do with grades, including grading assignments and monitoring your students' progress. You'll see more here once you start working with students. Finally, in the Settings menu, you can view and edit details about your class, like the name and description, the class code, and more. You can also control whether students can post and comment on the stream, and customize how classwork is displayed. Under Grading, you can enable the Overall Grading feature, which will automatically calculate your students' overall class grades. This is completely optional, but without it, you'll be missing out on some useful features. No overall grade means nothing will be calculated automatically. Total points will calculate your students' averages based on their graded work. Weighted by category will let you create your own custom categories so you can use a weighted grading system. With this option, you'll need to commit to adding a weight category to every test and assignment manually or your students' overall grades will be incorrect. Now, once you've created your class, you'll need to add students to it. One method is to invite your students via email. To do this, navigate to the People tab. Click the Invite Students icon, and you'll be taken to a menu where you can type your students' email addresses. When you're done, click the Invite button. An email will be sent to your students with a link inviting them to join your online class. You also have the option to add students using a class code. This is a short code that anyone can use to join your class. All you have to do is send it to them. You'll find your unique class code right here on the Stream tab. You can even use the Display button to make it easy to copy and paste. Now you can share your code with anyone you like. That covers the basics of Google Classroom. Check out the rest of our series for help creating assignments, communicating with students, and more. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.